I'm in Salad, and I saw Batman Year One. It is directed by Sam Liu, Lauren Montgomery, and it is starring Brian Cranston and Ben McKenzie. I saw this movie for the first time, and I was like, wow, cool movie, good animation. I'm gonna get more into the plot. The movie starts, you get, a sh you show this guy, this guy who's moving into Gotham, a new Gotham guy, and he has a wife, and he's just a policeman, he's doing policeman things, and he's one of the good ones. Actually, probably one of the goodest of one in Gotham. You see the guy, his name is Gordon. Gordon, he just sees all this corruption, and he's like, I want to stop all this corruption. He sees a guy get beat up, just, just, teenager and he also just sees a bunch of police officers just like shooting people for no reason like why'd you shoot him he's like he's gonna move it's like oh <sighs> come on i like seeing gordon's take on this it also establishes him as a person so when we see bruce wayne in contrast you see he's back from this trip been gone a long time but he's back he has all these skills and it feels like he needs to fight. He just wants to stop crime, but he doesn't have anything yet. He has to wait. I also like how this movie showed the timeline with the dates because otherwise, without the dates, the movie would just be aligned in a way. It's like, okay, what's the timeline? Is this happening over a week, over a month? This is a lot to occur, but no, it happens over a year. And I like that, it's, ye it's a slice of a year within these characters' years in the setting. It's pretty cool. Gordon has a pregnant wife, and you get to see the progression of the pregnancy go along throughout this entire movie, and it also ties in well with the plot. Let's go back to Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne being very, oh, I could just wait here, just wait forever in this chair. I don't know what to do. There's this bat. It comes through the window. It just crashes through the window, like, and it's. I like seeing Bruce's face. The glass shards are falling in front of him, and you can see the bat on the glass. And it's just like, ooh, I love it. It looks great. And this is at the moment when Bruce is like, hey, I'm going to become the Batman. And he does this without anyone knowing. And I like showing, I like seeing. Gordon talking about all this police corruption and stuff with his wife. It's like, oh, very sad. I just wish, I just wish things weren't so corrupt or something like that. And you could also see in the same frame a little bit of a silhouette of a guy just jumping in the background, like between two buildings. And he has a cape and it's like, ah, it's Batman. It's great. Batman's here. Isn't that just splendid? And now Batman's here to save the day. Oh man, Batman's first course of action. He beats up this police guy, this really corrupt police guy. The corrupt police guy describes the story as, there's these three criminals and I'm just standing here. And he apprehends all of the criminals except for me. And then he did some things. And that's how I got here in this cast and neck thing. It's like, oh wow, Batman must have done you dirty, man. That's crazy. But also, meanwhile, during all of this, Gordon's corrupt partner is also in this guy gang. It's a group of four people who approach him at night and just beat him up. He's He first starts beating them up. And I'm like, oh, Gorn, go, Gorn, go. And then Gorn gets distracted by his internal monologue. And then he gets hit. And then he get, keeps getting hit. And he doesn't, like, have his glasses anymore. It's like, oh, no, no, no. No, no, not, not Gordon. Gordon's the goodest of guys. He has to be affected by this Gotham stuff. Cra wow, oh, it's crazy, crazy. Wow, I can't believe it. Anyway, I should also mention that... Gorn and this crouch partner and other police officers in the station 
are being managed by this commissioner. He's a really fat guy. He's very fat, but also very rich and corrupt and very evil. And so he's making all these decisions like, oh, who, fuck, who cares about the city? Just, just blast bullets everywhere. Don't care about the pedestrians at all. Who need, who needs civilians, okay? And that's who the shady partner guy was. His name is Flass, I think. So yeah, he gets beat up by Gordon. Gordon's like, hey, I know who you are. I'm gonna ram you on the side of the highway, and then bam, ram, bam, action. Then you get some beat up action. Actually, you know what? He points a gun at him. It's like, hey, gun time. You, you did this. You chose the wrong side, partner. And then Flash is like, oh yeah, uh-huh, okay. And then Gorn has a bat, gives him the bat. It's the same bat that Gorn was beat up with. Gorn pretty much kicks his ass and then strips him naked, leaves him in the cold, lying there for people to find him. Wow, that's savage. You do not fuck with Gorn, okay? If you fuck with him, you don't fuck with him at all. Do not fuck with him, because he'll just beat you up. And I like that about Gordon. Also, speaking of Gordon, there's this running idea that Bruce Wayne is Batman? What? Who? What, what a thing to accuse someone of being! Crazy idea! Wow, I can't believe it. But uh, Gordon has this female partner, another another partner. This one's female, not corrupt. And she's like, "Hey, it's Bruce Wayne. It's obvious. This guy has money. Batman has money and lots of gadgets and things. Who else would have gadgets and things? Oh, someone who can afford it." She's right, obviously. But Gorn's like, oh, it's not, it's not him, actually. Nope. Not at all. This is, this is a very interesting thing to point out. Because later, his wife does the same thing when they leave Bruce's house. They're meeting with Bruce. Bruce is a little bit rich and arrogant. He has some paid chick, some paid chick who paid five grand to be up on him while he... They're having like some sort of fancy sit session. Fancy sit session, that's what it is. The pregnant wife's like, oh, he's just rich and arrogant. He's like, hmm, maybe that's just someone who is trying to hide something he's trying to appear like. And Gorin gets the idea and I'm like, ah, yes, Gorin, you're on the case. How is, that's pretty great. What's not great though is that Gordon has an affair with that lovely woman of his, uh, the partner, the partner one. Two months. It's all, uh, it's all gut-wrenching because I really don't like cheating. Clearly, clearly, Gordon is weighted down by the knowledge of this, by having this big secret, but he's not telling his wife that has his child on the way. I mean... You gotta, you gotta let her know those things. He decides to tell her in the parking lot of Bruce's house after they leave. It's all very somber for there. Then you get a scene where he, Gordon's on the phone. Gordon's in the background. The wife's on the phone. The wife picks up. You got some heavy shadow on her face, but you also got some heavy shadow on Gordon the opposite direction, lighting the opposite direction. I'm like, oh great, this is great tone usage. Real quick, step aside. I gotta talk about the colors. The color usage, I gotta say, is masterful. It's, it's a Batman movie, so the colors are darker, they have more shade in them, they have more black added to them. There's a lot of good color pairing usage. There's a lot of orange and blue, but I've also noticed some green and red, some orange, blue, red, some green. Uh, it's so great. There's just such great co color palette usage in this film. It's, I don't think it gets enough credit. 
watching this, I was looking at it and I was like, oh, brown. Brown can be used because brown is orange. Brown is orange. Brown is a shade of orange. So you can use it with blue, some uh, green, some anything you can use with orange, you can use brown. Uh, high props to the animation and everything team. High props to everyone who made this movie. Y'all did a good job. Y'all should applaud yourselves on the back. Back to Batman. Batman is police enemy numero uno, okay? And why I say that is because during the scene where you got Gordon and his wife are in a car and Gordon sees this garbage truck and the garbage truck driver is sleeping and so Gordon is like, hey, Wife, you take the car, so she takes the steering wheel, and he leaps out of the car, climbs onto the car, and, and it's like, what are you trying to do? He's trying to steer this truck away from this old woman, and Batman saves her, and then Gordon's like, oh great, Batman's great, this sucks, I wish I already knew this before I sent out the order to execute Order 66 on Batman's ass. I mean, now I know he's a good guy, so you got com commission, uh, he's not a commissioner yet, but you got Gordon, and he's just trying to deal with all the police saying, hey, uh, we're actually just going to shoot on his ass, you're not going to stop us, and he's like, I don't give you the order to, don't, no, no, okay, no, don't do that, and they're like, fuck you anyway, so, Batman, He's trapped in this building with a bunch of police officers trying to look for him. I just thinking, oh no. There is a bunch of police officers in the building with Batman. And Gotham police brings out an entire helicopter and drops a bomb on the building. That building's fucked. All those police officers are fucked. I'm just like... Man, this sucks. It's, there's so much death going on. I don't like Gotham, and obviously Gordon doesn't either. And I'm glad Gordon doesn't like the corruption in Gotham. Batman gets out of that building. He has to leave his utility belt, so he has like this thing on his leg, like push it, and then a bunch of bats come. I like the sequence where he's explaining his technology. It's like, oh, I developed this. Uh, I actually haven't tested it. I don't know if it's going to work, but it works. It's great. And there's just a bunch of bats just swarming in and like, boom, bunch of bats. Love the bats. He gets saved out of danger. He almost gets sniped. Don't get sniped. And he doesn't get sniped because also the bats are there to take down that helicopter that... 3D animated helicopter. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to mention Selena. Oh my god. Okay, Selena. She's just some poor woman living in Gotham and she has a desire to fight crime. She has a bunch of cats. I didn't count. I'm gonna estimate about a dozen cats. She has so many cats, including one that is green. Great cat, I love green cats. Anyway, she's inspired by Batman is like, I want to be, I want, I want the attention as well as Batman. And so when she goes to fight crime the first time, she goes, Batman's already there. He's just kind of surveying the situation. He's trying to get all this information before he goes in and engages the attack. But guess who's there? Selena as Catwoman. And oh my god, I love the mask. The mask looks great on her face. And she's just clawing everyone. Ha chow, ha chow, ha chow. Ooh, I love how the claws look. I love how her suit looks on her. It's great. And then after everything's done, Batman's like, thanks for wasting my time. It shows up in the news and in the newspaper. Actually, that was Batman's assistant she's even more pissed so she goes out again she does even more attacking things she scratches she did not get the intended effect she's even more linked to batman now wow oh 
I bet you didn't want that, did you, Selena? This is why you don't steal people's clout, okay? But enough about Selena, she's not really that important anymore. What it is important is someone's got Commissioner's baby and the wife. By someone, I mean the super head honcho right above, pretty high above Gordon, the head honcho running everything, the fat chubby guy. He is like, hey, let's get uh, Gordon, let's get him out of the house. So he does, gets him out. It's like, hey, got an order. And then he sees a motorcycle go into this kind of the parking garage that they live in. And he follows it. And then he sees his wife and his newborn son being kidnapped. And uh, it's so painful. The kidnappers are like, hey, don't shoot. They're going to die. But he shoots anyway. And he gets both of them. That's containing his wife. That's good, but they, the people in the car still have a newborn, so he has to go after that newborn, and then when Bruce is on the bike, by the way, he is trying to just room, and he rooms, gets shot, and Gordon takes a second to look at who the motorcycle is, and it, his face is black, it's covered in black, but by the facial structure of it, you can tell it's Bruce Wayne, and Gordon leaves. But the wife is like, hmm, hmm, who could this be? And it's like, it's Bruce Wayne. Gordon should have seen. So Gordon's after the guy. He's about to just vroom, vroom, vroom after that car. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Even though that sh has a baby in it. Shoot, shoot, shoot the car. Bruce is after it. And he's running really fast. He's like Sonic. He should be called Hedgehog Man instead of Batman. So he runs really fast and climbs up on these walls and he just throws himself onto this truck. Right, and they're all going really fast and then they go on this bridge. And Batman, he's still on this truck. He's surveying the entire situation. And Gordon, at this point, is fighting with this guy who is the baby. Baby man, baby man stealer. He's baby in his arm. You got Gordon, he's right here. Baby in an arm. On the other guy. The guy is just like, he's about to knife him, right? And then there's mo mo moment of tension, right? You get Gordon, he's looking at baby. Gordon, baby, Gordon, baby. The baby falls. I'm like, no, baby, not the baby. The baby fell. <laughs> But guess catches the Batman. Batman saves the day. They fall in the water. The baby is saved. That's pretty great. And the guy, the guy has been apprehended. The, the baby snatching guy has been apprehended. And now everyone can live nice and goodly in their homes. And now Gordon is teaming up with Batman. And I'm like, yeah. That was a pretty great movie. I enjoyed it a lot. I love the animation. The animation is so smooth. I like just knowing how they use some of the animation techniques. You draw a picture and then you use the camera zoom on some of the shots and then you animate a little bit. And it's like, ah, actually, if I just sat down, took enough time and was with other workers, I too could also work on this movie. So I'm like, yeah, I like this movie. I like it a lot. The plot held my attention. It was very captivating, it held my eye. I was working on other things when I was doing this, but I just wanted to stop all that and just watch the movie. I was just like, I, I can't just do two things at once. I gotta watch the movie, it's so good. Again, the colors, I love the colors. The colors could have done, could have not done been any better. I, mm, love it. I highly recommend it. I will eventually read the comic. I want to read the comic so bad. I guess I'll do that for another series sometime in the future. And if you liked this review, go check out. If you liked this review, I have some early movie reviews up on our Patreon. 
you get to see early movie reviews before anyone does. And that's pretty sweet. Just go check it out. $3 a month. Also, for daily vlogs. And, if you want me to review a movie, also on the Patreon, $20 a month, I'm gonna redo that whole thing. And if you liked that review, if you want more content, if you liked that review and want more content, I have some early movie reviews up on our Patreon for $3 a month. You also get daily vlogs as well. And $20 a month, you get to review me to do a movie. Review a movie of your choice. How great is that? That's pretty neat. And until next time, I'm Mint Salad Saw. I'll see you later, my salad croutons and bacon bits.